Haiti. Yeah. Oh, uh, just a country in the Caribbean. And they had the hurricane. Not the hurricane, the earthquake, tsunami, I think a while ago. Okay, oh, perfect. Thank you. Uh, wasn't there a disaster there recently? What do you think about it? Tsunami? I don't know if that's right. Is it a tsunami? Tsunami. Horrible, like, impoverished community. Haiti? Uh. Elf? Elf? Uh. Voodoo? Uh, uh, I think probably the stress. Okay. And a lot of poverty. Um, and a lot of structural issues, like especially with the earthquake, there was a lot of, uh, um, like their, their infrastructure probably wasn't planned for that as well. So that probably hurt them a lot more than it possibly would have. And strangely, Bill Clinton, because he was very involved in Haiti before that, so. Tsunami. Or the earthquake passed. Whatever got hit with the Whatever got okay. with the, you know, that video not. where all the artists did for Haiti. Um, um what's his name? That artist. Um, I forgot his name. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so um, when you think of Haiti, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Haiti is like the country. Oh! <laughs> Well, what's the first thing that comes Literally? Yeah. yeah. Like, where? So I have a question. Man. And this is the topic. So what do you think is the biggest misconception that the U.S. media has on Haiti? Oh. Haitians and voodoo. They think every, because you're Haitian, you know voodoo. So it's ignorant. It's um, a dumb question, but it's America in propaganda. You know, uh, are you Haitian? Yes. Oh, do you know voodoo? Yes. Actually, no. I don't, but I was raised Catholic. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. It's another religion, another faith. I just don't know anything about it. But the misconception is that people put spells and it's bad and, you know, it's demonic and um, it's just ignorant. But it's a religion, it's a faith, and I respect it like any other faith. So that's one of the big things with Haiti, I think. What was your perspective of the United States while living in Haiti uh, growing up? Ah, voilà, c'est une très belle question. Uh, what did I thought of the States? Um, ok, ma vue des États-Unis, c'est que c'était un petit peu... Ça venait vraiment euh, des films, parce que on, on allait au ciné, on, on voyait les, les films qui venaient des États-Unis, et puis on pensait que la vie aux États-Unis, c'était comme, euh, euh, comme dans les pellicules. Mais vraiment, quand on vient ici, on, on trouve que c'est pas exactement comme ça, que les gens, c'est comme, euh, comme partout en général. Et puis, ce qui est un peu mauvais pour, pour les gens qui vivent dans d'autres pays, c'est que euh, ça dépend de la personne. La personne euh, perçoit le monde aux États-Unis euh, suivant, suivant ses propres sentiments déjà, c'est-à-dire si c'est une personne qui toujours passe le temps à faire la fête, on pense que tous les gens aux États-Unis, ils dansent, ils vont dans les discos, etc., etc. Si c'est une personne qui aime la politique, on pense que tous les gens hein, sont fous de la politique, hein, qu'ils yeah, well, qu regardent Fox TV ou ben, CNN. Hein, donc, hein, donc, ça dépend. Donc, l'impression que moi, que j'avais, vraiment, c'était une impression... Hein, c'était une impression pas vraiment... What was your um, parents' perspective on politics while living in Haiti? Okay, so, mes parents ont toujours été très clairs au sujet de la politique. Voilà, quand on est dans un pays comme Haïti, vraiment, on a besoin des connexions sur le plan politique. Parce que si, si on connaît des gens euh, qui font partie du gouvernement, on a, on a de la protection, on a certaines faveurs, comme ça, Mais mes parents nous ont toujours dit que nous, pour notre compte, 
de ne jamais s'engager dans la politique parce que la politique, comme on le disait, c'est une terre glissée. Ce que ça veut dire en, en termes américains, c'est que uh, this is a can of worm, in the sense that um, you know when you get in, you don't truly know when you get out. Uh, it's kind of like a, a club. C'est comme un club uh, à les voir. Mais euh, il y a beaucoup d'avantages, si on en veut, mais aussi il y a beaucoup euh, de possibilités de perte. Donc, euh, pour moi, la politique, euh, vraiment, c'est quelque chose euh, qui ne m'intéresse pas. Et puis, moi, je suis scientifique, toujours est-il, donc euh, j'aime mieux les choses qui, pour moi, sont très claires, les choses que je peux vraiment... Euh, contrôlé et puis le domaine euh, euh, la politique chez nous malheureusement c'est pas We often hear the broken record repeating Haiti's bad press if not the poorest country in western hemisphere Haiti's soundbite has become a death poll of earthquake in Port-au-Prince it is important for educated public to question the documentation of Haiti meaning to question whether news articles are tailored to American expectations or independent of them Haiti's descendants see the country as a beacon of freedom rather than a symbol of hopeless charity. Journalists recycle negative and empty sound bites to beef up their stories, which everyone knows Haiti is the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere or that it's devastated or earthquake ravaged. These epithets are a dime of dozen, do nothing to move away from Haiti's bad news. And as one lady once said, yes, we have misery here, but we also have life. <laughs>